afternoon, everyone. Uh, wow, beautiful VC, eh? So, beautiful looking audience. Uh, thank you all for being here. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2019 Multiculturalism Anti Award Ceremony. My name is Ryan Kellan. I'm the Parliamentary Secretary for Sport and Multiculturalism. I'd like to start off by recognizing that uh, we are gathered on the traditional territories of the Squamish, Musqueam, Salihatouf nations on whose territories that we meet today. To begin with, I'd like to welcome James Q. Uh, James Q is an elder and a knowledge keeper of the Musqueam Indian Band. He's also a member of the Indigenous Business and Investment Council under the Ministry of Jobs, Trades and Technology. Thank you, James, for joining us today to provide blessing for this special occasion. Let's go, Ravi. Thank you, Ravi. I should uh, mention that. Okay. Yeah, if you could. <laughs> uh, for those of you not familiar with Punkabinum tradition, uh, our blessing is different than the people of the book who, who pray in a way that is different than ours. So uh, what I'm going to do is speak in Huntamina, translate, and then give some remarks that lead into an opportunity to share our law. And uh, that will explain the reasons that it's important for Musqueam to welcome you. So I would like to say, Siam, Nasiaya, Aitswaya, Eatsin Choaya. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. I trust you're all well. Amita, good welcome to Musqueam, Aus Thomas. Welcome to the ancestral territory of the Hankaminum speaking Muslim people. And home to our relatives from Squamish and Slilwitus. I to It's a really wonderful thing to see all of you people here. Hi, with E of I want to thank you for coming from your different backgrounds to be at this gathering, the BC Multiculturalism and Anti-Racism Awards held today on the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. On March 21st, 1960 in Sharpeville, South Africa, police opened fire on a peaceful demonstration against apartheid laws killing 69 people. On this day in 1966, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed the International Day for the Elimination of Racism and called on the international community to redouble its efforts to eliminate all forms of racial discrimination. And it is particularly poignant for me to deliver this welcome on behalf of Musqueam on this day. In the 1930s, South Africa sent a parliamentary committee to Canada to study the Indian Act. The past laws protested at Sharpeville in 1960 were modeled on the past laws of the Indian Act. The same Indian Act which sent my mother to residential school where she became an unwilling participant in biomedical experiments. The Indian Act is still law in Canada. So for this and many other reasons, it is important that we must be, use the time allocated for this territorial welcome to do more than simply share our land with you. It is important that we also share our law and culture with you. Our oldest laws come from before the winter without end which you would know as the Wisconsin Glaciation. It's been our law for thousands of generations that all people come from one family. We are all related. My word for you in my language is Siaya. It means kin. 9,000 years ago, I was taught that cows came when Tawasin was an island. He was our first great lawgiver. When I went to Langara, I learned that that was 9,000 years ago. Cows came from the east. 
and we remember to this day where he walked through our territory and where he performed his miracles. The miracles that became lessons for our law. My elders taught me that before he came, we were not quite right, and they would look at me when they said that. <laughs> and I knew that if I did not learn Cal's laws, I would not be quite right. Before he came, we had no empathy. We had no compassion. We had no charity. And we had no forgiveness. Therefore, under our most ancient laws, and under the laws of Chaos, you who are here today might not be Muslim, but you are in a Muslim community. And under our laws, you are our kin. And under our laws, we have legal obligations to protect you. These are the Muslim laws that bind us to welcome you and to forgive those amongst you who are beneficiaries of crimes against humanity unwittingly, unknowingly, and against your will. When the genocide was waged against my ancestors and my family, most of your ancestors and family did not give their permission for that to happen. And the injustices done to us were therefore also done to you. This ceremony here today is consistent with the ancient laws of my people. And one day the aspirations of the United Nations and calling for the end to racism, that might happen in Canada. It might even happen in my lifetime. Towards this end, on February 13th, 2019, in the throne speech, the current government committed to legislation endorsement of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. In the oral histories that I am taught to remember the oldest of days before the winter of without end. In the oral histories that I am taught to remember when Kells came 9,000 years ago, to remember where he walked. We will add this history to our oral history. For these reasons, I want you to understand how sincere the Muslim welcome to you is. You are our relatives. Thank you.